Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your freezing yarn host Jennifer. It is cold outside. Actually it's not even that cold outside. It's cold in the house. I had to turn the heater on because the puppies are on the they're close to the floor and so they're freezing. They're in the other room. Um yeah, I'm cold. My hands are like ice. <laughs> Which is why I have my Donald Duck hoodie on once again. How are you guys on this Monday morning, Monday afternoon, Monday evening, whenever you're watching this? Um I'm doing pretty good. I'm really enjoying the premiere week thing. So if you're new here, welcome. Um, on Mondays we come by and we show you what we've been making for the past seven days and we give a life update. <clears throat> Some people are here to see my makes. Some people are here just to listen to me talk about my life. And either way, that's cool. Um, <laughs> we're going to start with the makes first. And then we're going to move on to like um, puppy update because we're fostering three little tiny puppies. And I'm gonna, yeah. Just occurred to me, my son must have been in my room because my camera should not be on my desk. No, it should not. Put that away. All right, I have so much stuff. Like my desk is a hot, I need to put all the yarn away. Here's the problem with Premier Week going on while I'm enjoying it thoroughly. I have not put any of the yarn away that I pulled out to show you guys for the video because it all goes in different places and I also have the Hobie purchase on my desk that I made that I need to find a place for and then I ordered more yarn from Premier Yarns that should be coming soon and yeah I don't know where that's gonna go either <laughs> I just cannot pass up a good deal all right I think I have enough room to show you the things that I have made this week and I think I have everything there. I think that is everything. Um, I, I got surprisingly a lot done this week considering life has been kind of busy. Somebody took off of Ernie's head. Um, I got a lot done considering how busy life is, has been lately with the puppies and with everything else going on and you know you know how it is. Um, so I started the week, and you guys kind of already saw that as I made this beautiful hat. And I don't remember if I showed you in a Monday Makes video, but I know for a fact I showed it to you in the Hobie video. Because I ordered more of this yarn in different colors, because I love the way this yarn worked up. And I said in another video, the Hobie video as a matter of fact, let me just move everything out of the way that um, I believe that I did a review on this at some point on the channel and I couldn't remember what review I did it on or what the video even was but someone said that this yarn is very similar to a yarn from Mary Maxim in the comments and I was remembering I think that's the video is that I put this yarn up against a yarn from Mary Maxim to see which one I liked best I think this might have been a, I put this up against Puzzle because I thought it was going to turn out like Puzzle. It's not like Puzzle. Um, it's not, I mean, it feels similar to Puzzle, but the way that the colors work up is a little bit different. So I showed this in the beginning of the video. This is the Hobie Fantasy Jumbo yarn. I really like this yarn enough that I bought it in two more colors because that's going to be a hat for a little man. Um, but I really, really like that yarn. So uh, this is the first thing I made this week. And then I pulled down. I was I, honestly, I was struggling a little bit. I was trying to figure out what I want to work on next because I have things I want to make, but they're sweaters. I want to make two sweaters this year, and I need to be in the mood to make those sweaters. And I'm not in the mood to make a full garment right now because. I constantly have either a puppy on my lap or a dog on my lap or sometimes Bentley and a puppy and sometimes Bentley and two or three puppies are on my lap all at the same time and thank god I'm fat right because I have room for everybody <laughs> I have room for everybody Bentley sits on the recliner part of my recliner chair he sits between my legs kind of on my legs and then the puppies all kind of sit up in this area and just thank God I'm fat because they have room and everybody can cuddle with me and feel happy and safe and loved. Um, now this morning was really strange because um, 
Mr. Cinnamon went downstairs and got the puppies and brought them upstairs to me in bed so that I could cuddle them while he cleaned out the cage, which is fantastic because that cage was nasty and I didn't want to have to do it. And so I was playing with all three puppies and Bentley was on the bed with us, right? And then Juju opens her bedroom door and her two dogs come out and run and jump on the bed. So there were six dogs on my bed at one time <laughs> and I ain't mad at it. <laughs> there was me, Mr. Cinnamon, six dogs, and then Little Man came and joined all of us on my bed. And so it was, it was hilarious. It was funny. And it was, it was a moment that I, I just want to cherish forever. And... I think the the puppy I know I'm I'm not supposed to be talking about the puppies yet but I think the puppies think Scarlet is their mom because when Scarlet came out of the bedroom Ponyo which is the puppy we're keeping was on my she was like up on my legs going ah, 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 and like patting her little feet like that and I was she got so excited and Scarlet jumped on the bed and all three of the puppies jumped on Scarlet <laughs> like they haven't seen her in five years it was just it was absolutely sweet anyway the point of that is I want to work on a yarn because of because of the puppy specifically I want to work on a project with a yarn that I I don't think is going to be damaged from the puppy their their nails are really sharp and even though I keep cutting them they're growing so much they have little their nails are sticking to all the yarn and they also like to bite on the project that I'm working on so I got the idea to pull down my toilet seats <laughs> I, everyone that was looking at their work was like your toilet seat and looked at the camera right now I already know I got these at Ollie's um, for $3.99 and they're just the Ogo Coloramas these are a bulky number five they are 228 yards and it's a sturdy dense yarn it's not real pleasant to work with it's not horrible but it's not as you can hear, that's Andy. He's the smallest and the loudest, and he does not like not being paid attention to. So you're going to hear him until somebody picks him up. Can somebody pick up Andy? Can somebody pick up Andy so he'll stop barking? Um, he's very demanding. He's, he's clearly the runt of the three of them, and he looks like a little potato. <laughs> He's a sweetheart, but he he found his howl last night. I will try to put it in a video at the end. It's so stinking cute. We've never had a dog that howls, and he put his little face straight up to the moon like, howl. All right, so I pulled out the Ogos. I had six of them. I now only have two left in this colorway, and I'm like, I'm going to work on just a small blanket, and as I started the blanket, I, I got the idea. What? No, I just wanted to stop barking. Now the other ones are barking. Um, I got the idea that if, I, if I'm making a blanket, I should make the two boys a blanket because they're going to get adopted out. And um, I want them to have as easy of, of a transition as I can make it because I have no control once they leave my care. And so I'm making them a blanket that has smells on it from my house and from their litter mates because they don't like to be separated from each other, even for a few moments. Like they get all crazy if you like separate them. And I know that it's going to be a hard transition for them for at least a couple of nights. And so I'm just like, if they have a blanket that I can make for the two boys so that when they get adopted out, I give the blanket to their new family and just hope that they use it. You know, and so this one is Andy's blanket because Andy is the yellow colored dog. So with the yellow, I made this one for Andy. He's the runt. He's the little potato. And it's just crate sized. It's a perfect puppy sized blanket. I used two Ogos in their entirety with the exception of little pieces of scraps because I did color control it a little bit. So I didn't want any clean breaks in the yarn in the pattern. And so, and this is this is called log log cabin style. Um, you can see there's a break here, but I tried to make that as minimal as possible by using single crochets or cutting that part out. Um, <clears throat> I think it's really pretty. And this is Andy's. And I had this much yarn left over 
from Andy's blanket and I have to weave in the ends. But this is his and I think it's a really pretty nice look. I think it's a nice looking blanket. It is not necessarily my style generally because I don't put these colors together but um, that's Andy's. And then I made the second one. This is Pete's. And Pete actually has chewed on this several times already because I was holding him while crocheting it. So <laughs> this is his. This is not a pattern. And these are both different in the fact that I just, I made a square. And then at some point I started just doing the outer edges. And then I would randomly change which edges I was working on. And then... I would go around in a whole circle and this one's a little this one's not as nice looking as that one because it kind of got wonky somewhere in here and I don't know like the stitch count was fine but it looks like it tries to go out that way yeah, I fed the puppies okay. but yeah it's still a nice blanket for a dog and again this used two Ogos and um it's perfect for the bottom of the crates if they have a crate if they're crate trained because i don't know if these people are going to sleep with the dog in their bed like i do if they're going to crate train them i've crate trained them so that again when they go to their new house if they need to be crate bound for like someone goes to work during the day they you know they can be safe in their crate and not get hurt or not damage anything and so I was actually last night I was I was finishing off Pete's blanket and I was holding him and you guys know I love Fallout Boy <laughs> okay there's a Fallout Boy called Fallout Boy song called Saturday and I've always equated that song to me and Juju because we go to we've gone to four Fallout Boy concerts together and the Saturday is their last song and <clears throat> in part of the lyrics, Patrick and Pete are two of the singer, he, two of the band members. Patrick sings the lyrics, "Me and Pete in the wake of Saturday." Okay, I always do "Me and Pete" to Juju because Juju likes Pete. I like Patrick a little more, and so I equate that to me and her, and we always sing that song together. Um, but I was holding Pete. I was making his goodbye blanket and I'm, I'm really emotional like the past couple of days because like some personal stuff and some personal feelings I'm trying to work through and Pete has been specifically like really Pete is the brindle one not the tan one <laughs> he's been specifically extra sweet and loving to me and just he gets so excited when he sees me and he he thinks I'm his permanent owner and like I don't it's hard. It's hard. This is not going to be easy to let them go. I, I know this. Like, I'm in love with them. <clears throat> so he's laying here across my boobs. <laughs> and I'm crocheting. <laughs> and he was just being so affectionate and sweet. And I'm making his blanket. I'm thinking about his new life. And I'm, you know, and Mr. Cinnamon was like, he started singing, me and P. And I started crying. I'm like, dude, don't do this to me because... <laughs> <sighs> anyway, so then, aside from that, I saw something online. I thought I was going to make it, and it turned out really bad. So this is a total fail, and I actually made two of these, and they're the, the second one is in my closet. It's going to end up a dog toy because it's worse than this one. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> I saw a pattern for a crocheted and a knit version of a balloon animal dog you ever seen like balloon artists take those long tubes and fold them and they look like a little dog okay <clears throat> well they had some of those stuffed animals that look like balloon dogs on clearance at michael not michael's at walmart for like really cheap so i bought one for each of my kids and then the video popped up of the balloon dog for crochet and i was like oh i can make that on my knitting machine i thought okay let me figure out which way this stupid thing goes all right <laughs> just it, it is a massive fail um 
Actually, I think it goes that way. Yeah. Okay. So that's supposed to be the snout and the ears and the feet and the feet and the little tail. Okay. I, first of all, I thought I made it long enough to double it so that you couldn't see the stuffing through it. I did not. So, and I barely had enough room to stuff it into nine equal size balls, right? And so the balls aren't actually equal anyway, and they're not supposed to be according to the pattern. And I didn't want to knit this and I did not want to crochet it, but I wanted one. And I'm like, oh, like a balloon animal. And he's ridiculous. He's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> So I went in with another another yarn that I know that my knitting machine likes because my knitting machines are both very, very picky. I tried Hershner's yarn and it was like, no, I'm going to eat it and seize up. This is Premier Anti-Pilling Acrylic. And then I pulled out um, some Universal Anti-Pilling Acrylic, which is a little more expensive, but I got clearanced out, so it, it didn't bother me. And I doubled it and it's worse than this. So because the fabric is thicker because it's doubled so you couldn't see the fluff through, when I went to fold this, it just made like huge knots. It's in the closet because I can't stand to look at it, but it's so ridiculous. So I'm like, I'll show the red one, but I'm not showing the blue one because it's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> so the blue one is going to become a dog toy because um, my dogs, the puppies really like chewing on crocheted things. And so I, and because it's double thick and it's really like, it's knotted. It's like big knots. It will be like a rope, but I'm going to watch them because I don't want them to chew and swallow yarn fibers because that could be deadly to a puppy or a dog. But they're so small, I don't think they're going to be able to do damage to it yet anyway, and it'll give them something to play with. Right now, it's in punishment in my closet. So, now, I got so much yarn on my desk. Like, all the cakes... All the yarn I opened from Hobie, I ain't put away yet. This is on my desk. This is really good yarn from from Universal. It was on my desk because it was in the box for the other yarn that I guys yesterday. All of the L yarn is still on my desk because I I don't have a place to store the balls. So when I buy ball shaped or donut shaped, I have a really hard time storing them because I don't have extra containers to put them in. So they're just sitting there kind of in punishment until I figure out what I'm going to make with them. So there's just stuff piled everywhere. I just cleared just this space right here. <laughs> it's so bad. But, sir, I thought I locked that. You, you wanted to come to work now? All right, Bentley came to work. He's a good boy. All right, now we're going to do life updates. Um, it's mostly puppy content at this point. If you want to turn off the video at this point because you don't want to hear anything else about them stupid puppies, you, you can turn it off. Because I know not everybody likes puppies or wants to hear about puppies or cares that I'm fostering puppies. Um, the dog bed I showed you, the puppy bed I made last week, it, we've already washed it. And the washer and dryer works really good. I sent Jade on stitches a picture because like it kind of was like her big beautiful basket that I just like changed. And she responded back to me. She's all, you know, I get a lot of pictures of pets in that big beautiful basket, mostly cats, because cats like the basket and take over the baskets. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I can see a cat doing that. Um, but she also got a cute little puppy, um, which is so funny that that happened at the same time like I'm fostering puppies and she got a brand new puppy her puppy looks like a little wiener dog and it's so stinking cute I don't remember its name it starts with a P I want to say Penelope but yeah go check out Jada because Jada is fantastic I love Jada um <clears throat> all right puppy update puppies are doing fantastic they are over the kennel cough I thought maybe Bentley had kennel cough and He's fine. He's just really, he's depressive and mopey. He's feeling, he's standing at the door looking out because now he's figured he lock, he's locked in here. He's been real depressive and mopey and I thought he was sick and he actually had me quite concerned. And I think he's just feeling sorry for himself that mommy has given attention to other dogs and not all of it on him. And he's a little bit scared of the puppies. So 
he's getting used to them though he's getting used to them um he's not uh, when i say he's fearful he's just as careful to be around them but he has started to try to play with them but he doesn't know how to play with them because they're so he's a big boy they are barely up to his ankle like <laughs> he's a big dog <laughs> I don't know if you know this. He is huge. He doesn't look that big in the back. He's a big boy. Um, and when you see him next to the puppies, you realize just how big he is. And I haven't weighed him since he got really sick. I'm thinking he's probably 65, 70 pounds now. And I know that's small to some of you because you got big giant horse dogs. But to me, he's the biggest dog I've ever owned. And although I had our last pit bull was named Day Day. He was over 100 pounds, but he was fat. Bentley's real tall and slender because he exercises a lot. Like he is constantly going, but he's still a baby. Um, he tried pay playing with Andy yesterday, and he tried to smack at Andy and landed on Andy's back leg. And Andy was limping for a while, but he just had like it just hurt his leg. He's not injured. He's fine today. You heard him yelping back out out there. Um, but all the pups are on the men, and today he also was playing with all three of the puppies, and he walks by and slaps them. So he just literally picks up his paw and he hits them in the head. <laughs> and I'm like, well, you gotta be careful. You're way bigger than the puppies. He's not hurting them. He just like hit, but he plays with Scarlet and Oreo like that too. He smacks them, and he actually puts his hand on their head like he's petting them. It is weird. He's always done it. He's like, here, I'm going to put my hand on your head and pet you. He thinks he's human, and they're his dogs. <laughs> um, but he's just, he's been mopey, and so I bought him some special dog food. I bought him some canned chicken and rice dog food that actually smells like chicken soup and looks like chicken soup, which he loves. He was happy. Um, I bought the puppies some canned food, too, as a special treat. And then they all had pumpkin last week because it was Halloween. But well, they're all doing fantastic. They had their vaccines and they are due for their vaccines sometime around the 15th for their last series of vaccinations. And then shortly after that, they all get spayed and neutered. And they get put up for adoption immediately. So we got a couple more weeks left of puppy talk. I mean, Ponyo is still going to be here, but Ponyo is Juju's dog. And I don't think Ponyo likes me. Um, she's very particular. She loves Scarlet. She wants to love on Bentley, but Bentley's very cautious of her. And she loves Juju, and that's it. And that's all she, she, and she loves her brothers. Like, she loves Pete and Andy. But she is very particular. And she bites at me and she is like kind of i just i don't like her <laughs> she's not the dog i would pick if i was adopting one as juju's dog like you deal with her and i told juju i was like you understand i'm not buying her dog food that's on you like she's your dog you're paying for everything with her you better save money for vet bills and everything that's your dog you're buying her and so she's like with christmas coming up and the cost of the adoption fee and the cost of pet food and all that she's like stressing and taking on extra hours at work to make sure she has money for everything because i raised my girl right thank you very much and um yeah so that's fantastic but it is that's her dog like you can keep her you can clean up after her you can take her outside like that you you have to take take her to because part of the agreement with that shelter is you have to take puppy classes with them so you're paying for her puppy classes you have to train her and make sure that she is good with the other dogs like that's your responsibility it's your dog you're an adult um but yeah i'm looking forward to i'm both looking forward and dreading the day that they get adopted because um three puppies is way more work than i anticipated and their cage is so nasty every morning when i wake up like it's just and i woke up this morning i had to bathe all three of them after they were running around because they just they stink they stink but other than that it's been pretty it's been pretty chill this week um 
they're doing really good in their crate in their crate training they're doing good like i'm having them i'm teaching them sit and stay at the back door so they don't just run in and out of the house so when they're outside they have to stay so they don't get their feet closed when somebody's running in and out of the back door um i i have gotten andy and pete to stop being so bitey and that's really good so i'm working with i'm not just taking care of them i'm working with them to make them good puppies so that their next home is a successful home you know and i think that's a that's a hard part with the fostering processes making sure that they are ready to be in someone's house and not because i think when people adopt puppies they don't realize like it's a puppy the puppy tears stuff up the puppy chews stuff up like you have to keep the puppy safe they don't they don't have fully developed brains to where they understand like oh if i chew this electrical cord i'm gonna get killed you know which we have struggled with they keep eating trying to eat my laptop cord um but yeah it's been a lot of puppy stuff this week i, I got out of the house <sighs> to go grocery shopping saturday and it felt like a vacation because it was so quiet and like it's just me and the two boys mr cinnamon and little man and it was just it felt like a vacation to go grocery shopping which is crazy because i hate grocery shopping um and i got two of the advent calendars from aldi because i do most of my grocery shopping at aldi because i'm not paying prices for other stores like i save so much money on groceries just by shopping at aldi um i bought the cheese advent calendar because i love cheese like i love cheese I love cheese. Juju loves cheese. So I bought two of the advent calendars so that we could, you know. Taste cheese. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm yawning. I'm, I'm more tired than I thought I was. It's, I'm recording this on Sunday morning and I just had breakfast. But I'm, I feel really sleepy the past two days. I think I'm just worn down from all, everything that's happening, you know. And um, Juju wants to go to Target today. We have been watching, um, there's a YouTube called Pretty and Flawed. And she does shopping videos. That's all she does is she goes, specifically we watch her Aldi's and TJ Maxx videos. Because those are our two favorite stores. But she also went to Target the other day. I gotta yawn again. Drink some caffeine. Which is mostly ice at this point. Target had some stuff she wanted to go check out. We're all trying to get into the Christmas spirit. Like I said, Mr. Cinnamon decorated on November 1st for outside. He at least put up the blow-ups. We did not put lights up or anything like that yet. But we are the first neighborhood in the house to put up our blow-ups and stuff. I thought he was crazy. He's all, oh, the weather's nice. Might as well do it. I'm like, okay. I don't dig. I love Christmas. I don't decorate that early. <laughs> I, I still have some Halloween stuff up in here that I want to, I want to, this week, that's, that's what I want to do this week. I want to clean in here. Hopefully I can find time to clean. And I want to decorate for Christmas back here. Um, that's going to take me moving some stuff around because I really want to make it pretty. And I think I'm going to put some stuff, I need to do something with these project bags because these are projects that are probably never going to get finished. <clears throat> the Jaden Stitches calendar blanket is in here and the only thing it needs is a border and I need to just sit down and put the border on it. It's all I need to do. And I haven't. It's been 11 months since I... Actually, I finished it last December. It should have been done. It's been sitting up there for almost a year. And then... Honestly, I don't remember what else is up there but I only have... There's four project bags up there. I think the Lion Brand bag, which is right here, this is the Lion Brand bag, the, this one. Um, I think that that has yarn in it for a project that I haven't started. Or yarn I bought for a review that I never did. And then the this dark colored bag right here, I think is the, the baby size calendar blanket that I was trying to work on that I never finished. And that's, again, been over a year. I never finished it. And Jada even designed me a special 
square for the blanket that she gave to me. <laughs> She's out here. I designed this for you. It's a it's a Dutch windmill, and I just never I never finished it. I just and I know that that's the blue and the white yarn that's in there for that blanket. Never finished it. So. And what's in the fourth blank, the fourth bag? I have no, not a clue. Not a clue. But there's probably crochet hooks and stuff in there because I know. I also have a bag. Somewhere, in, it's probably over here. I have a bag somewhere in here where I, I caked up all of my Merino, not Merino. I mean, it's Merino. It's Malabrigo. I had Malabrigo in five shades of pink and purple. And I was gonna make a top out of it and I caked it all up and put it in the project bag never started it never put a single stitch in it <laughs> and then I have and I'm not one to not finish things like I have to I started this thing not that which was supposed to be a wrap I hate it I'm not gonna finish it I know that I'm not gonna finish it so I stuck it here hoping that one day I'm not gonna finish that like at all I might just take the yarn out I don't even really like that yarn like I don't like the way it feels so that's probably gonna be something I'd frog entirely and donate but yeah this week I want to decorate for Christmas in here I want to put something Christmassy on my mannequins both of those girls need something fabulous for Christmas and um yeah that's that's pretty much what we have planned. I have an order from Premier Yarns that has not shipped out yet. That should be coming sometime. And that's from the Premier Week sale. I am going to continue until the sale is over for the next two days. Popping up the sale of the day for Premier Week on a little video at around noon. Um, I don't know what else I have planned. Because... That's as far as I got. <laughs> There's things I want to do, but I'm just trying to play every day by ear and just trying to go with the flow. I even pulled out these because I was going to make, and these are the One Hat Wonders, the Sesame Street ones. I was going to make something out of these for the puppies, and then I was like, no, because that yarn is really thin, and I was going to put the baubles on for the puppies to chew on. And then I was like, no, because that's yarn and that's dangerous and they'll swallow that. So I totally decided against it. That might be where the heads to Ernie went because Andy was on my desk. He was on the desk with me. So I don't know. I don't know. I might make, what do you guys think? I could make a hat and put these as the pom-poms because that would be cute. And then I could hold this double. Because I have four of these with Abby Cadabby on it. Um, the other day is funny. I had my hair in little pigtails. <laughs> in case you don't know, my hair is pink and purple. I mean, it's kind of blended into each other, but like there's pink and purple there. There's the pink. There's the purple. Okay. So I had my hair in little pigtails. Right. And I walked out and I was like, Juju, Juju, who do I look like? And I had on a coral colored t-shirt. And she's all, to be kind of honest, you look like Boo from Monster Inc. And I was like, no, I don't. I look like Abby Cadabby. Look, my hair's pink and purple. <laughs> she goes, no. And she's all, hang on. And she goes, Boo from Little from Monster Inc. She pulled up the pig. I looked just like Boo. I had the same color shirt on. My hair was in pigtails. <laughs> Trying to look like Abby Cadabby. <laughs> I thought it was so clever. I went out there and she saw, no, you look like Boo. <laughs> I don't want to look like Boo. Like I said, that's all ice. So, I think that's all I really have to talk about today. I know it's not a super long video, but that's what's going on in Cinema Stitches land. Um, I'm having a lot of I want to make things but I don't have the energy to make them like that beautiful sweater that's gonna be a beautiful sweater the Christmas sweater with the puzzle yarn I want to make and it's not gonna take me more than a couple days to make either one of those sweaters but I I also the puppies are a big thing so I'm thinking those 
projects I will probably start when the boys get adopted and I hope they get adopted like right away because and I hope they get adopted on the same day because it's gonna break my heart to bring one home um, it just will it's gonna be hard anyway and it's gonna be hard if I have to say goodbye on two separate days like it's gonna be hard so I kind of hope that they get adopted at a puppy event on the same day um, if any of you are interested in adopting any of the puppies that are going to be up, there's a lot of them. A lot. If you feel like you just want a puppy. Puppies are a lot of work. I'm going to say that. You have to fill out an application on Old Dominion Humane Society's website. If you want Andy or Pete, their official um, names will be listed on the website when they're fixed. Because that's not their, their shelter names at all. Their shelter names are... Patrick and not, yeah Patrick no Spongebob Andy is Spongebob and Pete is Squidward but they're not listed up for adoption yet so you can't even apply for them yet um the fees are pretty expensive because they're trying to get people to really be serious about adopting a puppy um which is why Juju is saving up her money because they said the fees are close to four hundred dollars um, but they're not sure. They I, they have different prices for different puppies. So if the puppy is a specific breed, the price goes up. Like if it's a if it looks like it's a thoroughbred or something like that, purebred. No, they're not a thoroughbred. Purebred, right? Their price is higher. Um, specific breeds price is higher. Mutts a little bit lower, but like puppies are the most expensive because um, everybody wants a puppy everyone and they want to make sure that puppy like you don't want to spend that kind of money and then return the puppy in two weeks um they want you to not just get a puppy because you're like oh i'm gonna adopt any old puppy that's not i want my boys to go to a forever home and not be returned that will break my heart that will absolutely break my heart if they get returned i don't want them to live even a second in a shelter that's just so sad to me um I don't know what I was getting ready to say. Oh, but while they're here, I just, I because they're puppies and because they tear stuff up, because they have sharp little nails that snag my yarn, I don't want to work with any of the good yarn. Even though I really want to work with the good yarn right now. Um, so I've just been trying to use, like, sturdy acrylics like I did with the blankets. I have no idea what I'm even planning on making this week. I don't feel, I don't feel like there's anything I want to make. I think I'm going to work with fat yarn because those projects tend to work up a lot faster for me. But yeah, I know this video is kind of boring. I'm tired and I just got a lot. I got a lot in my head, but not a lot I want to talk about, you know. So I'm going to shut up and I'm going to let you guys go. And I will hopefully see you tomorrow. I um. I think we're going to have tea this week for Tuesday tea. I'm not positive on that. But I want to go buy a new Christmas cup because my Christmas cup from last year got broke. Somebody was banging it too hard in the dishwasher and like chipped. And it was my favorite Christmas cup. It was Mickey Mouse. So I'm going to go look for another Christmas mug probably at TJ Maxx or something like that. And uh, have some tea. So with that, I will let you guys go. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.